Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to the TPS TP Sense educational platform. My name is Chenya Aliuba. I'm your English language teacher for JSS One. This is Lesson One, and the topic I'm going to teach you today is the meaning of English language art. English language art is the study of speaking, reading, writing, and grammar. And the study of English language art will also help you to improve your English. The table below explains the four areas of study English language art. One, listening and speaking. Listening and speaking understand what you hear. Speak what is clearly written so people can understand. Two, reading. Read and understand what is written. Three, writing. Write clearly so people can understand. Four, grammar. Grammar is the structure of language. It shows us how we, how we should build sentences to make them clearly and meaningful. Now let's look at the importance of English language arts. The importance of English language art is for, to, is for us today to look at how English language is very important in constructing sentences or statements. English language art can help us improve your listening, reading skills. English language art can help you to improve your, your speaking skills. English language art can help you improve your writing skills. English language art can help you to improve your, your grammar. Now let's look at the outline. For the first outline talks about how you're able to classify words, how you should, the second one talks about how you're able to learn new words, the third one talks about how you're able to specify words meaning. Then let's look at the first outline which talks about able to classify words in a sentence. If you want to understand English language art properly, you have to first classify words. That is, you have to know the part of speech of the word used in a sentence. For example, the boy is a brilliant student. In the sentence, you can classify the word brilliant used in the sentence as an adjective because it qualified the, qualify the word boy in the sentence. Are you, able to, are you able to learn new words? In the writing sentence or statement, you can learn new words by applying them appropriately or correctly. For example, Abu responded erroneously to your statement. In the sentence, you can learn the new word erroneously in the sentence which is used. Then the, the third outline of this lesson objective is to, for you to be able to specify what meaning in a sentence. Able to specify what meaning in a sentence. In order for you to specify meaning of words in a sentence, you should be able to classify the meaning of words and identify how words are used. Then you can able to specify what meaning in a sentence. For example, the teacher speaks generously. In the sentence, you can specify the meaning of word generously as badly or wrongly in the sentence. Then let's look at the summary of, summary of this lesson. The summary, first summary of this lesson is for you to classify words in a sentence. The second one, learn new words in a sentence. The third one, specify words in, in a sentence. You should, which classify, which you're able to make statement correctly and specifically. Now let's look, let's take a look at the, the, the books that you are going to read. This, that is the, the books that prescribe for you to be read, uh, to be read at home. One, let's look at People's Handbook for JSS Language Arts. Second, Akiola series for JSS Secondary School. Third, the Better Grammar Book One. Then let's look, look at where are the sources of content we are taking. The sources of content of lesson are from the following website www.definitions.com, www.grammarly.com, and YouTube. Then this is the end of this lesson of lesson one today. Thanks for watching and listening. Goodbye.